Welcome to Community Connect. My name is Dennis Threadgale. Here I have with me Mike McCall, president of the Muskegon Lumberjacks. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's great to be here. We had a great season. Tell me a little bit about the season that um, the Jacks just had. Well, I mean, obviously overall we're thrilled. We had great feedback from the fans. We, I think, developed some new fans this year. Mm -hmm. uh, the construction or reconstruction of the arena has just been fabulous. Uh, you know, all the work that was put in by the city and, and the architects and uh, and our staff and Matt Gamgowski, uh, everybody. It just made uh, for a really uh, invigorating year and uh, we, we really had an influx of new fans this year and overall attendance was up 20 percent so wow. we couldn't be happier about that. Yeah and, it would, and I think that's great for this downtown as well because with uh, renovations it's just downtown is just booming. It is and I think you know we're, we're starting to hear from from different people whether it's you know people coming up from Grand Haven or people coming from Ludington or wherever that wow you know downtown is a cool place to be after the games and uh, we really sure. enjoyed our night whether it was before the game or after the game uh -huh. so it was uh, it was good to hear that and uh, we know there's a lot of new people coming into the arena which uh, is great you know for the for mm -hmm. the entire community and for the downtown area great so the um, the jacks and the arena have just put together a new agreement mm -hmm. so tell me a little bit about that well it was important for us and I think also for uh, for Frank Peterson for the city manager that and the and the you know the whole commission that we have a long-term commitment. So uh, we were able to do that. I think it's much more of a partnership than before. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, a lot of cities, there's a, a tenant and a, the city's a landlord and the team's a tenant. And uh, we were really able to enter into more of a partnership so that we'll be you know, doing some things in, in union uh, instead of separately, whether it's bringing in some new events or um, you know, determining what types of signage or sponsors might come into the building and be partnered up. So um, from a business perspective, it's very good for us and it's very good for the city. The city got out of it what they needed, which was, you know, more rent, more cash on an annual mm -hmm. basis. And we got out of it the security that we know we have the opportunity to grow our business over the next several years. So it's really a win-win for both parties. It really is. Yeah, as well as the city and the downtown and the fans. Yes. Uh, so there's a lot happening down there. Um, now that the season's over, you guys are not really resting, but you do have a little bit of downtime. So what can fans expect next season? Well, first of all, one of the main things that we wanted to do was complete uh, anything that wasn't done in the arena last year. As good as it was, you know, we know where the warts and pimples were, and we mm -hmm. want to fix all those. And we want to create the, an environment that's even better. Um, we're going to have an additional restaurant, hopefully by the time the season starts, similar to Rad Dad's. And it'll be a sports bar and restaurant owned by uh, the Harris Group, a local group mm -hmm. uh, here in Muskegon, which obviously we're thrilled to have them involved with us. Sure. And uh, we think that's just going to be a better experience for the fans. We're, we're really making a committed effort for improving our game entertainment and taking it to a, another level. And, you know, it's been fun and people have had a good time and we think there's another level it can get to. So we're doing our planning and working and starting to rehearse and do things for next year that hopefully will will give the fans even more than they're seeing on the ice. Um, so sure. we're looking forward there's to that. There's much more to it. There's what's happening on the ice, but during the downtime and those intermissions, there's got to be something for the fans to entertain them as well. Yeah, it really does. And we're, we're Again, we're trying to create something for everybody. So um, whether it's the kids' zone mm -hmm. where we have young kids, which was very successful this year, you know, up to our suites and everything in between, we want to make sure that everybody can go and have a good time whether the team's winning or losing or we're having a lot of fun on the ice or not, they're having a lot of fun being down there. And they're taking away those memories of being with their family and just having fun. No doubt. And I think that's what we're really trying to create is to make sure we're creating a place to be downtown Muskegon you know, all winter long uh, on weekends. And mm -hmm. I think, uh, I think we're, we're going to achieve that. We have, we're doing some other additional things this year uh, uh, that I think will be great. We're going to we're gonna build a little stage above the Zamboni entrance mm -hmm. and build a backdrop with a, a video board backdrop. So we think it'll just give us some more spice and uh, another opportunity to have a lot of interview a lot of people and bring new people into the mix in terms of the entertainment. Yeah, sounds interesting. Yeah. So uh, tell me a little bit about tickets. Uh, I know there's season tickets. There's um, there's a now a food bar that people can pay a little extra and go to one of the suites. Tell yes, me about that. Well, we have again in in trying to stay with the theme of creating something for everybody. We we have our suites and uh, it, it appears as though they're going to be sold out again for the year mm -hmm. uh, on a season basis so those won't be available but then we have our club area our jacks club area and that uh, allows people to come in and uh, have a premium entree and beer and wine and sodas and water and it's all included in the in the price and uh, that's going very very well and in fact we're going to expand that a little more because people Great. liked it so much um, and then we still have, you know, we still have a, a tremendous uh, deal for groups and people that want to come out with 20 or more people, and that is they get their game ticket, their 
uh, hot dog soda and mm -hmm. a Pepsi product um, and a full 32 page game program all for $10. And the nice thing is no group leaders have to worry about getting tickets, handing it out. It can yeah. all be done online now. And so it's very smooth and easy for people that want to come to the games and it's very affordable. And it's a great way for companies to get off campus, go have fun, not worry about work and just, you know, build that camaraderie you know, with your coworkers. It, it really is. And we're, we're really trying to create that, that situation where companies, whether they're small, medium or large size companies, they can come in a casual night and wear their jeans and t-shirts and, and just have fun or they can take it up a notch and go into the club or, or obviously one of the, the new party decks that we have and, mm -hmm. and those have been a big hit. So uh, the two party decks we have uh, were starting from November on were sold out every game um, wow. for the whole year. So it was about 22 games straight and we anticipate those being sold out next year. So people are just having a ball with that. They're having a, you know, they have their own area, it's private and they have all their food and beverage if mm -hmm. they want it included and uh, they're having a good time. That's amazing. Yeah. So how can they get a hold of um, somebody to talk about groups or suites? You know, the best way, I, I see people all the time giving out all these kinds of numbers and everything else. Do it like the rest of us do it. Just Google <laughs> Muskegon Lumberjacks. You will have access to all the phone go. numbers and, and email addresses you need. And we'd love to talk to you. We'd love to hear from you. And we, we give you a tour of the arena. We'd love to show you what's going on. And there's a lot of excitement. And we'd love you to come, people to come be a part of the whole future. Perfect. Yeah. Sounds great. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. We're out of time. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. All right. Me. Thanks for watching Community Connect. We'll see you next time. Rui Homes has been connecting people to their perfect home since 2003. Whether it's your first home, family is starting to grow, or time for retirement, Dave and Stacy's expertise find the home for you and your family. Dave Rui Homes. D. Baker & Son Lumber Company has been connecting with the Tri-Cities since 1871. Our traditions haven't changed in all these years. Quality products, honest pricing, and partnerships with local suppliers is why D. Baker & Son Lumber Company stands the test of time.